Welcome back guys. Today we are going to take a look at how you can do with glass fuses and spot welding. Spot welding have been a hot topic lately and many of you have seen me already do the video where I actually spot weld fuse wire. In this case here I'm using uh, I think it is uh, 36 SWG 5 amp rated uh, tin fuse wire and that works really good but they this fuse wire is also very very thin so lately I have gotten the question several times but what about glass fuses will it work perfectly fine to spot weld them as well because people seem to have problem with it we need to talk about the machine in question I'm running the 709A and this is a rather beefy machine uh, if you have the 788 and uh, that machine is a lot more it's smaller and it will not be able to put out as much current as you need you will need a lot of current to spot well the fuse wire that the glass fuse wires because those leads are thicker also if you're running this on 110 volt what I have seen so far is that the 110 volt unit is not as powerful as this one so if anyone have this unit and run it on 110 volt and have a clamp meter handy I would suggest that you clamp it around and max it out and see how much current you get out of it. Because when I do this here I get almost 700 amps out of it. And that's also the key for doing these fuses. So let's take a look at spot welding them and see how it looks and see what settings we are going to use. We have the machine here and currently I'm running this power wheel at 7 and I'm using 4 plus 6 pulses you can of course use another setting but I have found that this works really really good on some cells you might have to lower this a little bit and you can most likely go down to 6.5 and, and get the same result because it's easy to burn through the cell with this power I'm using this type of fuses here they are 3 by 10 millimeter wide and big and they are 3 amp rated I don't think you should go too low on the current because it's not about protecting one cell to go into the others it's actually about the other cells going into one cell and generally when you have a big pack we are talking about several hundred amps and you want to be able to cope with the peaks without anything will happen beware of that this is for emergency situation it's not a current limiter that's why I go with 3 amp and they should break where somewhere around 5 to 6 amp in general depending on how you have set it up of course. If we look at the fuses they are quite small um, but the diameter of this leg here is a lot thicker than the thin wire that I'm using normally. So let's go ahead and see if we can spot weld this. As always when spot welding I'm starting on the positive side to show you guys and what's important here is that you have a firm pressure on this so you apply a rather lot of pressure and at the same time I'm only applying pressure on one of the legs to this fuse wire you can of course apply pressure to both of them if you have a very very thin uh, shell on the battery itself but I have found that this works great so let's fuse this this was the first attempt and I'm running 7 in the power and 4 plus 6 pulses. As you can see, it's impossible for me to pull this off. And if I'm going to pull this off, I have to destroy this fuse. So that's how good it actually sticks to it. So let's do this again on another cell to make sure that this wasn't fake. Firm pressure and we weld it and it still it sticks like crazy so and if we inspect this closer we will see that the fuse wire itself or the leg actually flows out a little bit and become one with the top so this is a very very good bond so let's cut this off and just to make prove the point we turn this around and do that so let's see if we can get this firm pressure and it's welded to place. Strengthen on test and I cannot pull it away. 
I will destroy the fuse if I try. Make sure that this is a genuine test. We do it again. And still, I cannot pull this away. So I would say it's totally possible to spot weld the glass fuses. It actually works really, really good. But what you need to be aware of is that you cannot spot weld this against a copper bus bar. That won't work very well. Because if you try that, yeah, if you look at those tips, they are copper as well. Those that we have here. So you basically, no, it won't work. So this only saves half the job because you still need to solder it to the copper bus bar. But with a proper iron, that is not a problem. What about spot welding against your normal 18650 holders like this one? Can you do that? So let's try this out. First of all, it's a little bit tricky to place the fuse. It depends a little bit where you want this fuse to be placed. Uh, you could potentially spot weld it to the outside or to the top inside here. So to do that we first need to make sure that we pull this out and that's rather simple because it's just a matter of pushing this tab in a little bit and when that's done you could potentially lift this out. And you pull that out. So let's pretend we want to spot weld the fuse to the bottom here and stick it out. Um, so I'm going to cut this end off because we don't need that end like that. The thing is you need to spot weld this against holding it against something that is of iron because you cannot do that uh, against this mat here. Uh, same setting as, as before 7 and 4 plus 6 pulses and we're now going to spot weld it there. So we need to have this in the middle and we press and we run it. So that was the first spot I did on the corner and yes it do work. Hopefully this is in focus enough and that seemed to work really good. So let's assemble this again. So we have the spot welded tab here now and we need to get that into back and the hole we have here is too narrow so you cannot get this fuse in. One easy way is just to cut off a little bit around the hole to make it a little bit bigger and then you can stick this through. Sticking it through and then you just slide the tab back into its position until it clicks and you have a fuse mounted to it. That's one way to do it and it's rather simple but this then you need to remove this to attach the fuse. Hopefully you don't have to do it that often. Uh, you can also attach the fuse to the top of this and that's nothing stranger as, as I do it. Uh, you just spot weld on the top. Spot welding when you have this sitting inside here is very very tricky. It can be done uh, but I prefer the spot weld on the outside if that's the case. So yes for the ones questioning, you can spot weld the fuses to those holders as well, to those spring. So I want to thank you all for watching and hope to learn something. If you want to support my channel, you have links down below in the description for that. And if you, if you haven't already subscribed, I suggest you do that now and click the bell. So once again guys, thanks for watching. And if you want to get anything of what I have in my videos, you can check out the description where I have a couple of links. If anything is missing, point that out and I will add it as soon as possible. See you next video. Bye.